Okay, today I'm going to go through how to use Pocket Cast to listen to podcasts. Uh, first thing, I'll let you know that it's a $5 one-time fee, which I definitely think is worth it. If you're looking for other free alternatives to listen to podcasts, there's Google Podcasts, which is probably easier to use than this one, but doesn't have quite as many features. The other alternative is CastBox, which is really good. That has a lot of features, probably more than this one, but it's a little bit harder to use. This uh, Pocket Cast has a good mix between easy to use and lots of good features. So let's uh, jump in. I'll, go, I'll be going through this scenario where you're trying to listen to, maybe you want to listen to podcasts on the way to work and you want to catch up on the news. So we'll go through how to add uh, search for podcasts related to news, um, add those to filters, select which episodes you want to listen to, download those before you get into the car, and then uh, create a playlist based on everything that you've downloaded. So let's get started. I'll open it up. And here's what it looks like. I'll be going through these bottom menus from right to left here. So we'll start with this one for profile. In the upper right hand corner, go to this little gear box, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then you can sign in. You can create an account and that will save your podcast just in case your phone dies and you don't want to lose uh, everything that you've set up here. Then go to the top, go to general. You can set your skip forward and skip back times um, basically there's little shortcuts here when you're listening to a podcast and it, if you hit this one it'll skip forward based on the amount of seconds you put in there and skip back we'll skip back uh, going back here to notifications you want to make sure this play over notifications is off because if you're driving to work and you have Google Maps or whatever app you use to beat traffic uh, you don't want the notifications from your maps to play over your podcast. So this will pause the podcast as long as you have this turned off when you're getting notifications. Going back to appearance, I'm showing a light theme here. I personally prefer the extra dark theme because if you have an OLED uh, screen on your phone, then the super dark screen saves batteries because it actually turns the lights off on your phone for anything that's you know pure black like that. Uh, but just to make it easier to see, I'll go back to the light theme. I'll show you how I dynamically change the theme later on. Um, and then that's about all you need to do for settings. Uh, I'll go to the next section down here to discover. This is where we'll, where we'll find our news related podcasts. Uh, if you scroll down, you can see, you know, trending or popular ones. Um, one of the this the daily that's a good one so i'll hit the plus here uh, that makes that allow me to subscribe to that one um, if i don't find what i want here i can go to the top and search for different ones so so that's the one i just described subscribe to um, there's another one the ben shapiro show that's good if you want a conservative viewpoint on the news, so I'll subscribe to that. Then there's The Gist by Mike Pesca. He has a lot of good, uh, interesting um, takes on the news. So you can, this is what it looks like if you subscribe. Let's just pretend I hit the subscribe, subscribe button there. I'm already subscribed to that one. And then Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me is a fun news-related podcast. So I'll subscribe to that. So now that I've subscribed to... A few podcasts there we'll go to filters and the first filter you want to create you can create a filter by going to up into this little plus here is a downloads filter you put your name in here say um, downloads and select a color select a icon whatever you want say create filter I already have um, okay so here's so you want all your podcasts you can I'll show you later where you can select the podcast that you want for a filter, but for do your downloads filter, you want everything there. Um, episodes, you just want the unplayed and in progress episodes. I'll uncheck that, show results at the bottom. If, you, if this menu ever goes away right here, uh, it's because you've left the filter and then gone back in. You can get back to your settings by just hitting that this little tick uh, arrow here. For release date, uh, anytime, 
download status. Again, this is important. You want the download one because this is the download filter. So download, you have to click show results for your settings to save there. You don't have to worry about these last two. So, so this is your download. I already have some download, but this will probably be empty if you haven't downloaded anything. So now we want to create a news filter. Uh, again, you go to the plus, create a filter for news. I already have one here. I'll show you the settings. So you want to untick this one right here and just select, I have a lot of podcasts here, so I pre-selected those news related ones that I subscribe to. Um, so, so it just shows those podcasts uh, for this filter. And then the timing I put for the last two weeks, because if it's a news related podcast, anything more longer than that, uh, it's probably outdated. And then not downloaded because this is where I'm at home and I want to select, I don't want to use my data in the car. So I want to download the episodes I want to listen to beforehand. And once I have them all download, I'll jump to my downloads filter and say, play all. And then I'll be ready to go for the car ride at the work. So from here, this shows all of the episodes from the podcast that I've subscribed to and added to this news filter. And so now I can start, if any episodes look interesting, I can start downloading those by clicking the little shortcut right here. As you can see, if I, I also can give some options right here if I start swiping right or left. If I swipe left, then it will archive, um, archive that episode. If I swipe it or if I go have midway and then I can tap it, that will archive the episode. If I swipe right, it will add to my current playlist. I can also remove it from the current playlist. If I swipe a little bit, I can add to the bottom of, bottom of the current playlist right here or the top of the current playlist. The current playlist is just showing right here. From, from wherever I am in the app, I can swipe up. It'll go to what I'm currently listening to, continue to swipe, and that'll go to the playlist. Now I'm gonna swipe down, brings me back to what I'm currently listening to, listening to. swipe down again. It get, brings me to one of these screens down here. Those are just some quick swiping uh, functionality there. So after I download the stuff that I want, go back here to my downloads um, filter, and then I can sort that by however I want to be played. I'll say newest to oldest, and then go here and say play all. It'll say this will clear your current queue, play 22 episodes, and it starts playing. It'll start playing down here. You can click on here to uh, bring up some extra options. Before I get to there, I'll just show you the quick shortcut for to change your theme. Let's say that it's getting dark and you want a darker theme. You can just press and hold at the top here and it will dynamically change the theme from light to dark. Um, all right, so going back to what's being played there, the options here, you can skip forward or skip back. Uh, the options down here, there's a link to show you the show notes. This little icon right here allows you to adjust the playback speed. I usually like to listen to my podcast pretty fast. It goes up to three times speed. Trim silence is a nice feature. And then volume boost also is, is nice, depending on how loud your phone gets. The This little snooze icon here allows you to play for a certain amount of time. So if you're going to sleep and you don't want to miss all your content because you're sleeping, you can set that. If you star an episode because you like it, it'll go to a separate predefined uh, starred filter. So you can just look back at ones that you've starred. And then you can just, again, swipe up to see your, your playlist and, and re rearrange the order of their playlist. Or if you swipe down, you can just jump to your playlist right here. So that's about all you need to know um, for creating filters and listening to what you've downloaded. Uh, if you want to use a different method and find podcasts that you want to listen to specifically 
by podcast, you can go to this section right here, browse your podcasts. The ones that you recently subscribed to will be at the bottom usually. Um, and from here, once you're in the podcast, there's some different settings. So there's your gearbox here that will allow you, if you want, skip the first certain number of, of uh, seconds. If some podcasts uh, take a while to get going, you could skip a little bit there. Sometimes they do advertising at the beginning. So if you know that the first you know, couple minutes are not worth listening to, you can change that. Uh, auto download notifications and play with your settings there there's also some additional settings here uh, a while back at previous version uh, they marked a bunch as unplayed or as played even though you didn't actually play them so now they have more of a differentiation between played unplayed and archived so when you first sign up for something this will be unchecked and it'll only show uh, the first few um, it won't show all the all the previous or older episodes, so you want to make sure that you click this uh, tick box here to show archived episodes. Then you can go back and as far as you want and see what episodes you want to listen to. Um, besides that, it's a nice little shortcut to add this app as a widget to your home screen if you have Android. So I'll just go to my home screen. Um, if you press and hold your desktop, you can go to widgets. That's an alphabetical order. And go to Pocket Cast, press and hold the icon there and drag it to where you want on your desktop. And there you get little shortcuts to skip ahead, play or go back. You can click on anywhere on there and it'll open the app. And that is about all you need to know for on how to use Pocket Cast. If you like this video, please like it uh, or share it. And if you have any comments, let me know. If you want to if you want to, if you want me to do any other reviews or walkthroughs on other apps, uh, let me know that also in the comments. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Bye.